Hi everybody, welcome to this new episode, our episode 3 on the Prisoner series 3 Rack Console. And on this episode, I'm going to be talking about the features or my top features on this unit. My first feature on this unit is the fact that it has up to 32 channel inputs and this means it has 32 preamps on this unit. Comparing this product with the X32 rack console, you understand that X32 rack console has just 16. Yeah, I know you may say there's a price difference here, yeah, but if you hook up the X32 rack console with the DL32, which is the digital stage box for the X32, you will notice that the price difference between the Prisoner's 32 rack and the X32 rack with the digital stage box is 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 more, and the X32 is more expensive um, um, compared to the Prisoner's 32 rack. Yeah. So with that said, um, you see why it's my top feature. Yeah. So the second feature I love about this physical feature I love about this unit is the fact that it has an all mute button. Yeah, I call it an all mute button because it has the ability to mute all input and output, including your FX, everything. And this is really handy, especially if you are done with the show and you know you have another gig. So the best thing I, I would advise anyone to do is to hit the all mute button before you shut down the unit. So when you go to a different, um, uh, for, for another show, and you're turning back this unit, you don't get, you know, massive, you know, spikes in sound, maybe when something is connected to that unit and mistakenly is on, you don't get any, you know, sound that can, you know, blow up your speaker or anything around. So that's it. That's one feature I really love about this console. Another feature I love about this console is the fact that it has a headphone jack in front of it. So this headphone, is really ideal for a studio environment it's really ideal for a student environment or if you are not using this unit as a stage box so and the fact that it has a volume knob on it is really handy also so you can just you know dial in the level you know you want on your headphone while you are listening to the mix enjoy so another beautiful feature i love about this console is the fact that it has an sd card slot Unfortunately, you cannot do multi-track with this, but it's cool. I can do a stereo recording on it, either from my main mix or from my auxes or my flex mixes as Benga, sorry, or my flex mixes as prisoners would call it. So another feature is the USB feature at the back of this unit. So the USB basically enables you to control using your UC surface to control the units using your UC surface. It means you can control volumes, you can control the, you know, the gain levels, you can control everything. That's where your mixes are actually done. So the USB enables you to control and to record. That's why I love it. Comparing this product with the Behinga, the Behinga allows you to record only. It doesn't allow you to control. I hope that is clear so but this unit ad enables you to control and also record multi-track not just record stereo tracks it enables you to record full 32 multi-track i'm saying full 32 multi-track i'm sure you understand what i mean by full 32 multi-track another beautiful feature about this guy is that it has an ethernet port behind it and this ethernet port allows you to either hook up this unit directly to your system with um, an ethernet cable um, or it can be hooked to a, a, a router that can you know share this network to um, your mobile phone and your laptop so you can control this unit wirelessly i'm sure you understand that and the last feature i love about this console is that this console can actually be used as a full board console like i do use it so it can be used as um, a stage box and it can also be used as a stage box and also a monitor mix so for example if you have um, 
if you are using this guy as just a console, it's like as a full board mixer, you can just have it hooked up as a full board mixer. If you want this console to be on stage while there's a front of house engineer um, 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 in the audience, you can take signal from this console without having cables running here and there. And this is where you need your audio network cable. This is where you use your audio network port using an ethernet cable to send audio straight to the front of house guy and it can also and you can also record multi-track on stage while your audio engineer in front of us also record multi-track so it's more like a two-in-one feature for this unit and that is why i prefer this unit to the x32 rack you know units i'm not branding this product though but just something i own and i love yeah so i'm just sharing the good news so talking about the internal features of this unit one feature i really love so much is the fact that i can actually use studio plugins on this unit and that is really dope because for me i spend more time in the studio you know fixing mixes recording songs you know producing songs compared to the number of time i spend you know doing live gigs yeah so i try to avoid live gigs and do more of studio stuff because of my ears you know sound for live gigs are kind of loud and sometimes it affects my ears so i i don't i don't do that all the time so but if the money is reasonable why not i'll do it so but that's one feature i really love about the you know personas 32r is the fact that it has studio plugins that can be downloaded installed and used live on stage front of house anything especially for broadcast i love it for broadcast yeah so another feature i really love about this unit is the fat channel strip yeah so for anyone who is in the studio who uses prison um who uses studio one yeah studio one prisoners company owns studio one software that most people use for uh, music production right now and mixes so if you are used to studio one this unit is just going to be easy for you to understand because of the fat channel feature so the fat channel is simply your gate eq compressor um, limiter yes that's basically what it comprises of another beautiful thing i love about this fat channel is that i can switch either my eq first then my compressor next or my compressor first uh, then my eq next i don't know if that makes sense so sometimes it's 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 very valid to do one before the other and sometimes you do the other before you know just like that you can you know switch between you know there's no right or wrong way to do this stuff but sometimes i feel it's best for me to do eq first then compressor and sometimes i feel oh because of what i want to achieve let me do compressor first before i do eq so it's a nice and handy feature you know especially if you are in the studio and you are into broadcast it's a good and handy feature another beautiful feature about this console is the flex mixes yes there's a reason why personas calls this flex mixes okay and let me let you know the reason so i think i'm not sure i think the reason is because every aux can be used as either an aux a subgroup or a matrix i hope that makes sense i'm sure if you follow me on you know this series you you, you understand better and you can always ask questions in the comment section yeah so that is the major reason why i think they call this flex mix is the fact that it is flexible you can reassign it you can reassign a mix to be a an aux benga will call it a bus bus or a subgroup or a matrix and every of this mode has different function and why people use them so i'm sure you would learn more about this in the course of this you know series another handy feature i love about this is i don't know if this is on the benga x 2 console but i'm not sure but most times i see Benga change input source in groups on this console input sources can be changed individually you can i can decide to use channel one 
I change my channel one source to be USB or local input, which is the physical, you know, uh, input like your XLR. Or I can decide to change the input to be coming from my network audio, maybe from stage or something. I, I don't know. You can, the beautiful part is you can actually switch individual channels, sources to come from different, you know, things, local, SD, USB, or network audio. So that's, those, these are my top features on the Persona series rack console. And I'm sure as we go on, I'm going to be mentioning more features while I learn more about the console. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, leave comment on, you know, the comment section. If you like this video, if you like, if you don't like it, please let me know and let me know what you don't like. I believe I can always improve on, you know, stuff. And do not forget to please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.